Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Game Porting Toolkit's command line interface. So this is assuming you've already installed Game Porting Toolkit in the past, maybe you follow one of my video tutorials, and now you want to upgrade to say the latest version, which at the time of recording is 1.03. So basically this is going to take you through the terminal commands in order to achieve this upgrade. If you are using a different method, for example, Whiskey or say Crossover, then make sure to follow the links in the description. I'll be making video tutorials on how to do upgrades of those as well. And of course, the aim of this is to get the very best performance out of running Windows, DirectX 11 and 12 games on Apple Silicon Mac using Game Porting Toolkit. And this video is going to show you the exact steps on how to do this complete upgrade. So first what we're going to do is to open up terminals. We're just going to find our applications and then go to utilities and then find the terminal application here, double click. And now we've opened up terminal. And then we're going to figure out what version of Game Porting Toolkit we have. So I'll leave this command in the description. This basically goes to the Game Porting Toolkit folder and then it lists the folders within that folder. And if we press return here, it says we are using 1.0. So what we want to do here is to upgrade past 1.0 and this just confirms which version we're using. So first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that we're using the Intel version of Terminal. So just type in this command, which I'll leave in the description. And then we're also going to use this command, brew update. So I'm going to leave this in the description as well. We can find it on the Apple Gaming Wiki Game Porting Talker website. And the command is brew space update space ampersand ampersand space brew space upgrade space apple forward slash apple forward slash game dash porting dash toolkit. And this is basically going to update homebrew and it's also going to upgrade game porting toolkit to the latest version, which is 1.03, which is the latest at the time of recording. So here you're going to press return. So you can see here it started the homebrew upgrade and now it's doing the upgrade from 1.0 to 1.03. So just wait for that to download all of the assets that it needs. And then it's also going to do the full compile again. So this does take a bit of time to actually complete. I'll definitely say leave around an hour for this to download and build on an M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. So next what we need to do is to follow the instructions in the Game Porting Toolkit readme to complete installation. And basically what we need to do is to download Game Porting Toolkit. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for Game Porting Toolkit article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. And basically we want to visit the Apple developer download site here. Click on this link here and I'll leave a link in the description for the Apple developer download site or you can visit the Apple Gaming Wiki's Game Porting Toolkit article. You can follow this link here. Here it's going to ask you to sign into your Apple developer account. So you actually use any Apple ID. This is completely free to access. So just type in your Apple ID and then your password and then log in. So anyway, once we are logged into the developer website, just go ahead and search for Game Porting Toolkit. Let's go ahead and do a search for game. I'm going to download the latest version of Game Porting Toolkit. So yes, we did upgrade and install Game Porting Toolkit to beta 3. However, we do need some assets from the DMG file. So now I'm going to click on the DMG here and just download this file. And once that's completed, we're going to go to Finder and Downloads and then double click on Game Porting Toolkit beta 3.dmg. So double click on this. And then this is going to ask us to accept the terms and agreements. Press agree. And what this basically does is that it mounts onto Finder. So we have the necessary files here. So make sure that this is mounted. I know that it says Game Porting Toolkit 1.0, but this is the beta 3 version. And it has some updated files that we're going to need, especially updates to the D3D Metal Framework and also some wine changes too. Making sure that this is mounted, we're going to follow the instructions on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. We want to go to this section called preparing the toolkit and we want to use this ditto command here. So just select this entire line and then press copy Then go back into terminal. And then what we're going to do is to paste this command in here. This basically copies a bunch of files into our local installation. Press return. Next, we're going to copy some scripts into the local bin. So just paste this into here. This basically copies from the game porting toolkit DMG into our local installation. Press return. So basically, if I use the earlier command, which tells us the version of game porting toolkit we're using, press return. It says we're using 1.0.3. So we've successfully upgraded now. Next, we're going to run Steam now using 1.0.3. So we might have to update this particular line to have the correct file path because the previous version of Game Porting Toolkit has been removed. Just go ahead and press return. So now that we've got Steam open using Game Porting Toolkit 1.0.3, then we can go ahead and basically load up any Windows game and it's just going to go ahead and play. So I'm going to press the play button. I'm going to launch the game Prey. So on the top right hand side here, we can see that we have version 0.3. So that's basically 1.0.3 of Game Porting Toolkit running DirectX 11 
and Prey is all working correctly. So now that's how you go ahead and upgrade Game Porting Toolkit to the latest version, which in the time recording is 1.0.3. This is the command line interface version. If you want to use the, if you want to find out how to upgrade Crossover, then make sure to check out the other video, which I'll link to in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.